We could do this story every day, and we probably should. The fentanyl crisis across America continues to get worse. Some video out of New York, San Francisco, Oakland, and Boston of Skid Row, what happens when people are high on drugs and fentanyl. Not sure about the video in the lower right-hand corner, but the other three videos make sense. We know that a lot of that fentanyl is coming from Mexico. But really, the problem originates in China, where the precursor chemicals to the fentanyl come from. 42% of Americans, almost half, know an overdose victim personally. The fentanyl crisis has personally touched them with someone who has died. 111,380 Americans died last year from overdoses. Half or more of those are from fentanyl. And a lot of them were quite literally murdered by the drug cartels. Daily Mail just found out that the snakehead gangs are working with the Mexican cartels to bring Chinese into the United States. The snakeheads are known for human trafficking and counterfeit goods. They have a long history of bringing illegal chi Chinese migrants to Chinatowns all over the United States, New York, Los Angeles, on and on and on. They provide fake documents to the illegal immigrants in order to be able to work here in the United States. They coach them on what to say during their asylum interviews when they come across the southern border. They get them lawyers. And now they're working with the Mexican cartels. Jen Smith is with us. Congratulations on your promotion to head of news at the Daily Mail. Thank you. Welcome to the program. Much. Thank you. It's good to see you. Um, all right. Um, help us understand, and I think this is a, a, a reasonable question mm. to ask, uh, is this snakehead gang new, or is their involvement at the Mexican border new? The involvement at the Mexican border is very new. This gang, the Snakehead Gang, has been in operation around the world, Leland, for many years. We know that they were heavily involved in the human trafficking of people into the UK and other European countries. But what really is bombshell new information here is just their role in the southern border crisis. They are now joining the cartels and really taking advantage of the worsening situation and helping Chinese nationals come into the country illegally. They are coaching them on how to get there. They are meeting up with them in Tijuana. They are showing them literally the holes in the border wall. And then they're arranging, once they get through to the other side, for their lives in America. So this new element of the criminal gang at play from China working with the cartel is a hmm. huge new fact of the border conversation. Now, we always have known, or I shouldn't say always, but for a long time, we have known the flow of fentanyl begins with the chemicals out of China into Mexico and then up um, into the United States. Chinese migrants, many men of military age, are the fastest growing group um, at the border. Mm -hmm. Things in China don't happen um, in spite of the government. They happen because of the government. That's how China works. Mm -hmm. Help us understand what the Chinese government is gaining, what this sort of what this gang is gaining when they bring all these migrants into the United States and why they're doing it. Well, I wish I could tell you from their mouths, but, you know, it'll come as no surprise that when we were at the border and asked some of them, they didn't want to talk about it. Now, yeah. there are a million suggestions here. I mean, it's relevant to your last segment with Senator Paul. The just having a window into Americans' lives through the phones that we use in our hands, that's a huge concern. Now, we don't know. It's, what, 37,000 Chinese migrants crossed the border into the U.S. last year illegally. We don't know why they're here, but what we found out is... They want to go back. Some of the migrants that we spoke to when we were in California, they told us that, oh, yeah, I don't really want to talk to you too much because if I do, it'll risk my chances of going back to China at some point. That completely undercuts any claim of asylum, obviously. Um, so, what, so what, what do they say they want to do? They, do, they wouldn't say anything aside from, no, I don't want to talk to you too much. I can't tell you how I got here aside from this Chinese guy. Um, kind of helped me and a few of them said that you know they got their information from TikTok but no you can't have my name no I don't want to tell you what my plans are I'm eventually hoping to go back to China and I'm scared if I talk too much to you an American media company they're not going to let me back in now those are the ones who came illegally there are others who present themselves legally at the border entry points and then use this CBP1 app to obtain appointments with the government, and then right. they are allowed to stay. But again, the claims of asylum hugely undercut by the sheer fact that they come, first of all, with money. They're flying over. They are pretty well dressed. They're not the you know cash-strapped, desperate families uh, Jen, you normally see. Yeah, no, you you make make all great points. We got to run, unfortunately, but. Um,
Thank you. Amazing what, amazing what a little journalism exposes. Keep it up. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.